Here, we have two very common street and park trees. On the right, we have red oak, Quercus rubra, common or northern red oak. On the left, we have pin oak, Quercus palustris. These two trees co-occur in many parts of the eastern U.S., but generally, pin oak has a more southern distribution and red oak makes it much further into the north. Red oak has seven to nine pinnate lobes. It has these lobes that depart a central axis on either side, kind of like a feather. We've been over this word. Pin oak has five to seven lobes. So there's a, there's a slight overlap with seven lobes, but there are normally more lobes on red oak and fewer lobes on pin oak. Additionally, as you can see here, there's often a size difference where red oak, common red oak, has much larger leaves, pin oak has much smaller leaves, and red oak typically has a much broader leaf, a lot more surface area, and the sinuses are a lot less deep, they're shallower, and the lobes are typically fatter or thicker and more angled towards the front or apex of the leaf, whereas pin oak has this really fine textured, highly dissected, highly differentiated leaf with these really narrow lobes, really deep and huge wide sinuses, and this overall kind of more dainty shape. Also, these lobes are perpendicular often to the central axis. Rather than pointing forwards as they did on red oak, they, they jut out straight to the sides. Both of these are in the red oak group, which means they both have bristle tips at the ends of their lobes.